Where we go is based on the wind, the weather, sea conditions, and the tide. And they're all independent factors. Kind of figure out uh, late in the afternoon where we are and what uh, nice little place that we can uh, anchor for the night. A strong possibility, according to the uh, national weather people, that we'll get a, a thunderstorm in, uh, with a lot of wind sometime late this afternoon. So we're gonna work over on that shore so we can duck into some place if we need to. Sounds good. Think so? My favorite thing, you know. I understand. We've had plenty of warning, but we've been pushing our luck. Mm -hmm. Trying to get here from there. Trying to get into Cradle Cove. I hear thunder, but we uh, might not make it. I mean, we may have to stop and anchor. Yep. Big one over there. I still see him. I, I can see, what is it, Duck Trap Mountain, but I can't really see Oh, I saw lightning. Yet. First time I've seen lightning. Guide the force. Watch it. It's hot. It's hot. Oh, no, it isn't. It's just Here comes the main. Main coming. Stand by. Lights going off. Where are we? We're uh, coming right up to uh, Cradle Cove. This house is called Vanity, the Gibson House. Ah. Okay, you got to drop a hook up here? You sure are. Yeah, good idea. We're about two minutes late. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You see the water. Yeah. The rain's coming across the water. Yeah.
keep it off. There is someone in here. Here. Is this the Disney World ride? This is the Universal Studios tour. How did you like that? Well, that was fun. Part of sailing. <laughs> well, that's cool. A little wet, so. Is everyone okay? Yeah, Rachel, yeah. are you okay? I, I'm okay. No worries, but that's okay. Right. So, Captain, you know. is this part just part of the everyday ticket? Yeah, this is a, actually this is a slight surcharge for this. <laughs> we got 200 feet of chain out. We're in this little cove off of uh, Xanadu on, uh, on uh, 700 Acre Island. And we're in great shelter. Terrific. <laughs> <laughs> this is exciting. This is sailing. This is what you do. We've had great weather. We've had fog. We've had rain, thunderstorms. It's a little bit of everything. It's good stuff. This is fun. Where are we trying to get up in here? Yeah, right there. All right, Coast Guardsman. How did we? How did they do? What do you grade them? Doug did an excellent job. There was a lot of excitement there for a few minutes. Yeah. Doug did an excellent job dealing with this weather. <laughs> I'll take all the sail off her and, and wait. I love this spot. <laughs> <laughs> this is one, of, one of our favorite anchorages. And it's becoming more popular with every moment. <laughs> <laughs> favorite anchorages of this. So the preventer caught on the forward down bit of Archie. So she's up there to say, let it go, undo the preventer. So she's up there playing with it at the end of the bit. So Richard goes to try to help. I said, I scream, let it go off on the house top. Just let it go. <laughs> yeah, <does>. let it go. <laughs> So, we let it go. So, we've been flying loose flag uh, since the day we had our Coast Guard inspection. I think it was the 25th or 26th of May. He's it's been flying ever since then. Well, up and down each day, but that's the flag we've used. It was a cotton flag. <laughs> it uh, was a special flag. That. Yeah, it's a battle wound, but... Yeah, I mean, it's a guy. It's a guy thing. <laughs> <laughs> you can sew like Show my sunglasses on. I'm ready for some beautiful yeah. weather. Well, I would like to know how much, how fast it was blowing when we first came, it when we came in here. Plus. It could have been. It could have been 50 plus. 15 people couldn't hold the main sheet. No way. No way. They had to let it, it go like twice. They had to let it go twice. It was pretty exciting back here, but it's always blowing hotter at the bow. <laughs> At least they tell me. <laughs> the stories that come back from the bow after the blows like that are usually a lot worse than what's back here at the stern. At the wheel. Here's to everybody that uh, did the thing. Yay! Here's to us. Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. Hooray! Here we go. I have some more. Yeah. For a little taste. I was going to say, the man at the wheel was made to feel contempt for the wildest blow, but it often appeared when the gale had cleared that he'd been in his bunk below. <laughs> I don't have enough tape on the camera for you to start this, Kevin. <laughs>